the Mobius boys think there's another artifact in a world called Monolith. Supposedly, there's Protoss guarding it. A group of fanatics call themselves the Taldarim. Now, don't get all sentimental thinking these Taldarim are your old Protoss buddies. Because they ain't. There it is, Jimmy. Just like Mobius said. Easy money. I don't know. There's a lot of Protoss down there. We're gonna have to... What the? Warning. Multiple Zerg biosignatures detected. Ah, hell. Them critters were just hiding underground, waiting? No idea. But you can bet they're headed straight for our shrine. Well, that show complicates things. We can't fight two armies at once, partner. With any luck, we won't have to. We only need to hold the area at the top of the shrine long enough to extract the artifact. So we'll land here and cut our way through the Protoss lines while they're busy with the Zerg. It's only a matter of time before the Zerg overwhelm the Protoss. We'd best grab the artifact and be long gone by then. I got a crew coming down to pick up the artifact. Got what we came for. Let's hightail it out of here. I forgot how resourceful you were, Jim. I won't make that mistake twice. Kerrigan. That's funny, Convict. I don't recall giving you access to our database. Just keeping up on current events, Captain. Seems this Queen of Blades got everybody running scared. <laughs> she don't look so tough. You have no idea who she is, do you, Tychus? Don't matter to me, none. Well, it matters to Jim. They were... close once. Wait a minute. <laughs> You're telling me they were shacked up? Apparently she was something else. Before the Zerg took her. Turned her into that. And Jimmy feels responsible. Honestly, if we have to face her again, I don't know what he'll do. Woman like that, there's only one thing to do. I caught Tychus hacking into our database, sniffing around about Kerrigan. I don't know what his game is, but we clearly can't trust him. Matt, me and Tychus ran together a long time. Got in all sorts of trouble. When the law finally caught up, he took the rap for both of us. Never once ratted me out. I got a second chance, he got locked up. I understand your loyalty, sir, but... I owe him, Matt. Leave it be. Yes, sir. Your Mobius buddies ever happen to mention that the Queen of Blades wants these artifacts, too? Hey, they just give me the missions, man. What's it matter, anyway? Putting that bitch down would be doing everyone a favor. I thought it was just about the money with you, Tychus. 
nothing says I can't do my part for humanity and get paid well for my trouble. Right. Must be hard, man. Seeing the Queen of Blades out in the world again. How much do you know about Kerrigan, Tosh? I had some friends in the Ghost Academy. That girl was a legend even before she disappeared from the program. There's a few that know the truth. How the Queen of Blades came to be. She's a creature of pure rage now. Oh yes, it's her or us. If we don't kill her, she'll slaughter us all. This is Donnie Vermillion live from UNN. Tonight, we're going to discuss the infamous Queen of Blades. Scientists and military insiders have long speculated that the enigmatic alien is, in fact, an infested human. That's right, Donnie. Is it possible that the leader of the Zerg has a human heart? More importantly, Kate, could this mean some kind of Terran-Zerg alliance is possible? Donnie, there's never been any evidence at all to suggest that infested humans retain their free will. You make a good point, Kate. The question is then, how do we kill her? That's one I think we all can agree on. If humanity is to survive, the Queen of Blades needs to be eliminated. Can you tell me anything about this artifact? Gotta admit, kinda weirds me out. I've done some preliminary studies. Your artifact is a few thousand years old, but that makes it pretty young in xenoarchaeological terms. Most alien artifacts are millions of years old. By comparison, this one was made recently. It ain't like anything Protoss I've ever seen. But if they didn't make it, who did? That Zerg woman seemed to know you. She really rattled you, didn't she? Me and her, well, we go back ways. She was a ghost once. Back then, we were hooked up with Manx and fighting to get rid of the old Confederacy. <laughs> we made a pretty good team. What? happened to her? She was a casualty of war. No offense, Doc. But I really don't like to talk about it. I understand. If you ever change your mind, I'm here. I've been hearing strange stories from the crew of late. Unexplained noises, strange visions, voices in the dark. Rumor has it these things are haunted. Superstitious nonsense. These artifacts are completely inert, and they're contained down here in the lab. There is some trace radiation, but I don't see how they could affect things elsewhere on the ship. Heaven forbid we run across alien tech that messes with our primitive little monkey brains. Just keep a close eye on them, Doc. Gotta hand it to you, Chief. Stealing an artifact out from under the Zerg and the Protoss? You sure go big. What the hell was I doing? I'm getting too damn old for this. What do you think of Dr. Hansen? She's a lovely thing. Full of honey, that one. At least, that's what she wants you to think. You think she's hiding something? You ever wonder why the Zerg hit our world so fast? Something there they want. Something made of honey, maybe. Buzzing little bees. Are you all right, sir? Confronting Kerrigan again after all these years. We've got to stop her, Matt. No matter what she's after. Well, we gave her a setback today. The artifacts are obviously important to her. I just wish we knew why. 